Good morning. Happy Switch Up Saturday. Oh my God, it's Saturday for God's sakes. <laughs> oh my Lord, I don't ever stop working. Um, I'll get to that later. Anywho, it is warm. You'll never see me with my fat arms out in public like this, but when it's hot, it's hot. Um, the house didn't cool down overnight, so it was like, you know, in the upper 70s, whatever, in the home. I have no idea what I did to the air conditioner, but apparently there's nothing that makes me more upset than the team's notification. <laughs> the second that sound or the next one will be the ringing, the team's ringing. So I'm like, no, I know I'm an exempt worker. I actually, I'm an ex so an exempt worker is you work basically whenever they need you to work. So you're on, you're like an on-call 24-7 kind of employee you have no life um those those sounds literally are driving me insane so on a positive note somewhat positive note um <laughs> maybe not a positive note because this is supposed to keep me <laughs> keep me from doing this but I lost my ever-loving mind this morning I had um my favorite brand in the world this this brand right here, Hollow Taco. It's their fifth anniversary today. And I'm, I've been on a like, don't buy anything for months because you see, you see my collection every single, every single week. And I have been good. I haven't been buying anything. And I think she's had like one or two collections in the last couple of months. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. Not going to do it. Then fifth anniversary today comes out. And for the love of God, it's mood changing color changing nail polish and I'm just like oh god <laughs> take my money just take it and I don't even love all the colors but there's like no four four of them I love so I'm like I just it's my inner 10 year old that just I love I loved mood changing nail polish when I was a kid and oh my god I just lost my mind so bought that this morning so yeah fell off the wagon as they say so that will be coming in a few weeks but so you'll see what why i'm in a shopping buy everything kind of mood this morning stefan's at work he's actually working a temp job for the weekend so he's doing that thing i'm just kind of around the house melting and going to do the typical stuff so um, I think I have an idea. I, I think I mentioned it last week. I'm I'm pretty sure what bag I'm going to get into this week, but I'll know more when I go over there. Um, we'll talk about fragrances. Oh, before I forget, because what brought to my mind this problem that I've been overlooking for weeks now on this journey is, uh, did the Nordstrom anniversary sale <laughs> and already some things have sold out so I'm just like I, I did the first day looked at it and just went yeah screw it and left the wish list and I'm getting the notifications that things are coming in and out of stock and I just don't care at this point so I'm like Bleh. but what it reminded me of was um there are Maz fragrances and I had mentioned in the videos that I had bought a set about a year or two ago and this year they basically did the exact same set but changed out one of the fragrances and I'm talking about it and I'm just like going, you know, I haven't worn those fragrances <laughs> for a while. And I realize they are up there on that wall. So I kind of forgot that I store things all over this room. So I've got like, oh, I'm losing my voice. I've got the little, um, oh, I'm so sorry about my arm. I kind of, maybe I'll zoom in um i have my coffret of um, mini dior fragrances of all the Privé fragrances i have that over here in my background um, when i film videos and then up there i have the two um i have the hardines hermes set and i have my twilly collection up there and i only have uh pepper yeah provoy regular twilly i had ginger but i I think I only had a sample because I only see the two up there right now. But anyhow, my point is because they're up there, I'm every week that we've been doing the fragrance swap out. I just don't even remember that I have them and I need to walk them over. So those 
maybe will be put in probably the hardines because those are more of a light floral kind of scent but if i remember correctly they are a little heavier than i like to wear in the summer so maybe you know like more of a spring or even a fall type of scent but i'll have to spray them again and double check um but that's <laughs> that okay. Like I really should make an effort to look around the room and not just at the fragrance counter up there and remember that I have things in different locations and dig them out. So a little more accountability that we have to get into. So I'm going to get the bag picked out, get the fragrances picked out talk about um because I did just this nail polish for the week this topper the uh, linear they of course wore beautifully in fact they barely wore off it's like my thumbnail I think is the one that's kind of messed up that it came off of but for the most part because it's just so low maintenance um it's just kind of a good break to to wear and I've been trying to use this um Dior, let's see if that will focus, Dior product, um, as repair, I guess, for that. I have not been using this one. This one has a very funny smell, this um, cuticle balm creme apricot, apricot from Dior and it's it's I mean it's very moisturizing it just I don't really care for the um the smell for it I I want to say it's roses but it's it just smells odd it's a very different different smell but what I do use is my um La Balm and then this on um, the actual cuticles as treatment when I remember it's on my desk here so that I don't forget but I forget because those stupid notifications go off <laughs> anyway I will come back at the end of the day and you know wrap up we'll figure out what manicure we're gonna do um and you know talk more everything has died in the yard ladies are we enjoying ourselves are we sunning everything's better when we're we're getting the sun I don't know if Pickles is even having it right now. Everything has died. Even our mint. Our poor mint. Oh, oh, yeah. That took, she took your spot, huh, Dolly? No, she no, that's not good. Is that a, a better spot? Yeah. Way, way cozier. All right, I'm going to do poo poo duty. See how bougie I am with my purple, purple bag because you know I'm extra. The girls are losing their lot. Their mind is an Amazon truck across the street. I haven't been able to sit out here for probably a week because it's been so hot. But it's only 75 right now, so I'm going to plop out here for a little while scroll discord and just chill out for for a few gotta take off the nail polish and go in and do all the things is it is it exciting pickles excuse me excuse me excuse me paparazzi paparazzi what 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 Pickles, hey, what are you, are you trying to smother me? Are you trying to smother me? What is happening? Apparently, she must need comfort. There's trauma. Everything good? We're all good? Everything fine? The house is okay? It didn't just walk off? Dolly, everything good? Okay, so for this week, I was 
I guess, moderately successful. I wore everything but Lemon Island, and I'm not even sure why I didn't grab it. I think I was just trying to test this one out, um, this Cactus Garden dupe, and I ignored it because they're kind of similar. Um, I did wear the Kaoli and made a, in my opinion, significant dip into that one, considering I think I only wore it one day. Wore my Chef d'Or and wore my Wood Sage and Sea Salt because I love it. But yeah, I did this at least two days. I might say even three. So the first day I wore it, I did not um, have a good reaction to it. Like I oversprayed and it was I got a headache from it so did not did not enjoy the reaction I wore it today and um it's still it's not it's not a good dupe so while when you take the cap off and you smell these side by side they smell very close but once you spray this one and actually get it on you I mean it's like heavy chemical lemon pledge cleaner type of citrus whereas this you know the lemongrass in it is so subtle spa just a really beautiful um fragrance that, that just kind of bums me out so unfortunately i'm gonna definitely tell you skip buying it from this brand i am going to place an order for another dupe from another um house and see how that goes. It's not too expensive. And I believe they even have a money back guarantee, but um, I just didn't want to try it again until I knew for sure that this was a, a waste. But again, they did a really great job on the uh, Contre Moi. So they're not, it's, they're great to try. And they used to sell on eBay with way smaller sizes. This was only $20, this um, whole bottle. I believe it was $20, might have been $20 plus shipping. So the price is, it's, it was barely, you know, a dent in my opinion to try it out, but they have even smaller, you know, sizes like this, or even just like your typical, you know, this type of spray, a little tiny sampler. So if you are looking for something that's discontinued, you could definitely try that brand and um, get your hand on some, some items, but other than that, I'm going to pull out some other fragrances and see what the theme is going to be for this next week. All right, so here is this week's tray. I am going to have my staple vanilla vibes um, that comes out most of the summer. We're going to leave Lemon Island on the tray. And then I have a couple here. I tried this before and I didn't, um, or tried it on a tray and didn't use it. So I'm trying again. And this reminded me that same year, whoops, the same year, um, I got this in an advent calendar. I picked up, I had gotten this as well, this Hermetica. Um, and I have never used it as well. So I need to pop in there. It's basically just a deluxe vial similar to that kind of size inside that box but um want to try that out and then last but not least since i mentioned it earlier i brought down the hermes um hardians set and i am picking one of them and so far the one that seems to um I don't know, just speak to me this week is Serenil. So we're going to work on that and see how I like it. And maybe I think I'll leave this box down and we'll like the next few weeks just make our way through this, this collection unless I have some kind of bad reaction to this and need to take a break. So we'll, do, we'll just see how it goes. But this is the tray of the week. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this really quick. I've already picked out what I want to wear for this next week. So I was in Linear Hollow Taco. That's going back right there. And I am going to go into Got Cake because this was the very first birthday polish for Hollow Taco. The founder created this polish um, for her 
birthday celebration. I think the first year the brand was in business. I finally got it, I think, the year after because it came back as a re-release. But um, I'm going with that, you know, simple kind of look again and just keeping it basic until those magical colors arrive, I think, because I can't wait to just tip I'm, I'm 10 years old again. <laughs> it's insane. But I'm going to swap in uh, to Got Cake. All those colors. They're really, it's really pretty. And I will show you that when I finish up. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to keep it relatively cool. But, oh, trying to keep it relatively cool. But, um, you know, it just kind of is what it is. So we've been in Speedy for a couple weeks and I really enjoy carrying her, but it's time to swap into something else. Taking off this um, strap because I do like to utilize it um, with this bag and with this particular print, I guess, but, um, we're going to use something else. So Stefan actually has the other car keys. So I only have my one set. I'm going to leave just about everything the same. I think Let me pull everything out that I have in here. Make sure I grabbed everything. Okay, so empty. I'm going to pack her up and put her back in her dust bag and store her for a little while. I'll probably come back out towards, um, you know, August. I don't want to not wear her again, but at the same time, you know, got to use some other bags. Okay, I mentioned, I believe last week, I had intended to not carry the Speedy two weeks. I was going to carry the light colored boxer bag that I got from Poshmark. And I'm really excited to try this out. That is the interior. We'll see if I can get that lighting to actually work. But it's very spacious. I think I have way more room in here than I need, quite honestly, but I'm, I'm kind of excited. And then the other thing that, if you remember, I swapped into my Pochette Essessoir for, you know, just in case needing to run around. And I'm going to go to the county fair tomorrow and I'm going to take this as my bag and then put this strap back on and just run around with that in the card case. So that is why I'm staying in in that one. Now, as far as the sunglasses go, I've been really liking the St. Laurent glasses, but um, I have my pre revo set as well in here, and I'm really fond of the color. So just depending on what outfit I'm wearing. So if, if a blue tortoise works, I'll grab that one. Otherwise, I'll probably keep just these um, brown tortoise they're really dark um at hand in the the purse and kind of go that route so that is the bag of the week let me go ahead and start filling it up So I like that there's two zipper pockets, um, one on each side. This, um, the two slip pockets aren't big enough for my giant phone that I have. So I'm putting one, the phone in one slip pocket and then the other one will be just like where I can zip things away as needed. I slipped my card case right now in that pocket. So that's got a ton of room still in there. Everything's in there. I can probably even slip my strap 
in there and just have it on hand. So that might happen. Or I could utilize this back pocket here for the phone. So let me grab it. Oh yeah. Oh my God, Craig, Jackie. I know why you love these. <laughs> I think this is the medium size, not the, not the large, large, but wow. And of course there's this giant pocket on the front too that you could utilize, but I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, the hair has gone up because it's just already getting warm and I'm, I'm, I'm even so pink, but um, got the nails done. I really love this. It's just like an almost like abalone type of shade to it. It's just really fun. I'll insert an actual picture of it, but it's just the prettiest pearlescent um, little shade. So real fun. Anyway, um, that is this week's swap out, switch out admission that I fell off the wagon. Um, you know, the usual stuff. We'll see what this week brings ahead. I think it's just going to be normal temperatures. So that's why I'm very excited about that for sure. Um, I hope you are having a great summer so far. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things, you know, that YouTube makes us say. <laughs> like they're holding a gun to my head. But, you know, I should make an effort. I should try to be a good YouTuber, right? Do all the do all the things, do all the, the fun stuff, post on Instagram on occasion, all that all that jazz, right? Anywho. <laughs> I will talk to you next week. I have no idea what's coming up one on Wednesday. I haven't filmed anything. May not be a video. I might have to talk about the things that I didn't buy from Nordstrom. <laughs> so I didn't buy anything. Um, yeah, so we'll see what next week brings. The mamas are coming, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Is that a how dare I, mom? Why, why aren't you paying attention to me? <laughs> that says it all.